This is the homework help video for Physics Homework 4.2. I will do 1 and 3 here. There's only uh, 4 questions, so I'll do 1 and 3. In number 1, Braden is walking through the school cafeteria but doesn't realize the person in front of him has just spilled his glass of chocolate milk. As Braden, who weighs 420 newtons, and I'll pause there, that's our first thing that we need to know. Uh, Braden's weight, so the force of gravity, equals 420 newtons, uh, which also means the normal force is 420 newtons in the opposite direction but we won't worry about negatives for right now. He steps in the milk. The coefficient of sliding friction between Braden and the floor is suddenly reduced to 0 .040. Okay, so now we know that uh, mu or the coefficient of friction has been reduced now to 0 .040. Okay, and then what we're looking for here is the force of sliding friction between Braden and the floor. So we want to know how much friction is there between Brayton and the floor? It's a pretty simple problem. All we're going to do is use our uh, equation, force of friction equals mu times the normal force. And we know those two numbers, so we just need to plug them in. 0 0.040 times 420 newtons equals force of friction still and that should give us 17 newtons for the force of friction. For number three here, uh, we've got rather than taking the stairs, Addie gets from the second floor of her house to the first floor by sliding down the banister that is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. Uh, I think we're best off drawing a picture to start here. Um, so if we draw this banister and then we've got just the horizontal floor, that's a 30 degree angle and here's Addie and she's getting ready to slide down. Okay, so um, if Addie has a mass of 45 kilograms, so M equals 45.0, no sorry, just 45 kilograms, and the coefficient of sliding friction between Addie and the banister is 0 0.20, so mu equals 0.20, what is the force of friction impeding Addie's motion down the banister? This is a little bit more complicated problem because there's a couple other things we have to look at. First, let's find Addie's weight or the force of gravity on Addie. So we'll put the FG or force of gravity equals 45 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared. And that should give us 450 Newtons. Now, the important piece about that is that that is straight down. That 450 Newton force is straight down. So that's Fg. The normal force, remember, is only perpendicular to the surface. So the normal force is going to be at an angle something like this. And then we'll also have the force of friction there. So this would be force a friction and this is force normal. This angle is going to be 30 degrees because it's a similar triangle. 30 degrees. So we can find the normal force using that information. So the normal force Fn equals the force of gravity in this case times cosine of 30. That's pretty important to us that we can use that cosine 30. If we couldn't use that, uh, it would kind of be, well, it would be pointless. We, could, we couldn't solve this problem. So let's go ahead and plug in the force of gravity here. We've got 450 newtons times cosine 30, and that equals 390 newtons. Okay, so now we know that the normal force is 390 newtons, that equals the normal force. And we know that the coefficient of uh, sliding friction is 0 0.20. So now we can solve for the force of friction. To do that, all we have to do at this point is force of friction equals uh, 0 0.20 times 390 newtons. And we should get, for the force of friction, 78 newtons. That's your homework help video for Physics Homework 4.2. I hope it helped.